Hello, everyone. My name is Jennifer Bautista. I am one of the transfer admissions counselors at Seattle University. Thanks for joining. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use our transfer equivalency tool. Um, so our transfer equivalency tool will be extremely helpful for students who are trying to figure out if their courses satisfy certain prerequisites. So we will go ahead and jump right in. So this is what our transfer equivalency tool will look like. Um, again, it's super important to really read thoroughly all of these directions as they're going to guide you exactly as to how to look up your classes, uh, what to, to be expected. Um, like I mentioned, I will go through a few examples myself. But again, make sure you're reading these instructions at, as, as it provides kind of a great overview as to how this tool can be extremely helpful. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, again, this is kind of just a, a big system with a whole bunch of different institutions uh, that we have evaluated yet. So it's really important if you do not find your institution, it does not necessarily mean that um, we that that your credits are not going to transfer, but rather that we maybe just have not evaluated any courses from that specific institution yet. Uh, same goes with classes. So if you can't find a class, if you can find your institution but can't find a class, again, does not mean that it's not going to transfer over, but rather that perhaps the class has not uh, been evaluated yet. Usually, if institutions are accredited, uh, some sort of credit can be granted. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to be using Highland College as an example. So with this search feature, it's really important that folks do not abbreviate. They have to spell out the whole institution name. It's not going to take uh, UCLA. It's not going to take any sort of abbreviation. So it's really important that students type in the institution full name. So we can go ahead and type Highland College in there. It pops up. We go ahead and click on it. It brings us to this web page with a whole bunch of courses that have already been evaluated, right? So really important um, to, to use this tool in conjunction with our transfer planning worksheets. And you can find the link as to how to find those transfer planning worksheets uh, below. Um, so when we're taking a look at our accounting 201, we're going to use this as our first example. Um, it's really important that you know um, that the left hand column, so this left hand column is going to be for Highline, and then this right hand column is going to be for Seattle University. So anything in the left hand column is going to have course numbers, course names that are uh, unique to Highline. This right hand column is going to have course names and course numbers that are unique to Seattle University. So you will be able to click on all of these courses here on the left. We're going to go ahead and click on this accounting 201. So it gives us some information here. Um, this information is essentially telling us that accounting 201 and accounting 202 are going to be able to satisfy our accounting 2300 principles of accounting or financial accounting, right? So it's really important that students click on the course uh, that they're taking, courses that they're taking. Oftentimes, they'll be grouped like this. Um, and then that students pay close attention to this direct equivalent, what number it is. It's really important if it's lower, if it's higher, it's not a direct equivalent. So students just need to, to really be aware of this course number on the Seattle University side to see if their classes will satisfy these prerequisites. All right. So we, um, I will get into kind of this search bar as well. It, can be very particular as well, just like the first search bar. So if folks are trying to search for a specific uh, subject, sometimes it, it will populate very straightforward. Other times it might not. So it's really important for folks to, to, to kind of take that um, piece of information. Um, and if they can't find their specific college, maybe um, they can just go back to no filter, and what I see students do often, what I do myself, is I just kind of toggle until I find uh, the M section, right? So 
there you go. So I'm at the end of Matt, at the end of the M's. It's on page number eight, just so I make sure that all of the M's and all of the maths are populating. So all of these will be maths, right? So let's go ahead and check this pre-calculus one, math 115 at Highline, but it's called math 1021 pre-calculus algebra at Seattle U. So again, very important to take note of this Seattle U course number. Um, we will use the example right above it. So we're taking a look at math 115. Uh, we'll jump back to math 111. This is equivalent to math 1010. So there's a few uh, majors at Seattle U that actually require 1021 math. This would not satisfy because this is lower. This is a lower number. This is a lower course number. This would not satisfy that math 1021 because it's lower. So again, very important to pay attention to the to these direct uh, course numbers. And again, this tool is extremely helpful when working uh, when when you pair it up with the transfer planning worksheets. We can go ahead and do perhaps another institution. Um, let's do. University of Idaho. Type it in, search it, there it is. Great. So as you can see, this one has slightly less uh, courses. Again, does not mean that if you do not find your courses, it's not uh, transferable, just it just has not been evaluated. So as you can see, there's a series of different classes that have been evaluated. Um, we were on that second page, so it's important for us to toggle back to the first. We can take a look at, let's go ahead and take a look at this FCS 105. That is the course number at University of Idaho at Seattle University. This is going to be a direct equivalent to Psych 3220 Growth and Development. So yes, this course, Individual and Family Development, will satisfy our Growth and Development um, prerequisite course. Um, again, this is it's really important that students note that this tool is specifically uh, helpful um, for students trying to figure out if their courses satisfy prerequisites, not to go through the whole transcript. Um, so again, this is just a tool to help with those prerequisite uh, questions that students may have. That is it for, for uh, right now. If you all have any additional questions, feel free to email the transfer team at transfer at seattleu.edu. We are happy to help with any additional questions.